Stanford won the toss, elected to receive. And the kickoff that is taken by Cameron Scarlett. And Scarlett gets out across the 20 and near the 25 yard line, and Stanford will go on offense. KJ Costello. The junior quarterback for the Cardinals completed 67% of his passes this year. He has been terrific. In fact, he leads the conference in passing efficiency. He's making his 15th consecutive start at quarterback. He's unlike most Stanford quarterbacks we've seen over this generation of viewing football. Not just the fact that he's thrown the ball with a lot more volume than we're accustomed to, but he's an intense guy. And Bryce Love is starting the game for Stanford. From the 25, the give to Love. And Love driving forward gets out to just shy of the 30 yard line. On second down, Costello, good protection over the middle. And the pass complete to Caden Smith. As the power look from the Cardinal, Cameron Scarlett. And he stops shy of the first down. The corner coming in, Byron Murphy for Washington. Jake Bailey punting, standing near the Stanford 20. Aaron Fuller, the return man at the Husky 20. And Bailey with a short, wobbly kick that takes a sideways bounce and then rolls Stanford's direction. And they give Miles Gaskin straight ahead, dragging Bobby Okarike with them. Going out in motion is Sean McGrew for the Huskies. Empty backfield, Browning throws to the outside. It's caught by Cade Otten. And the tight end across midfield, and Otten into Stanford territory and shoved out near the 45. Gain of 20. Browning, it's the inside give. And Savan Ahmed for the Huskies inside the 30 yard line. Here's a pistol look for Washington. Gaskin back in at running back. Miles Gaskin. Pretty move as he gets around Paulson Adebo. Second down. Miles Gaskin gets a first down inside the 20. At the Stanford 16. Another carry for Gaskin. And he gets stood up by Okariki for Stanford and shoved backwards after a short pickup. Browning will throw. Under pressure, flag down, and Browning goes down. Jordan Fox getting into the backfield for the Cardinal. And he will get credit for the sack of Browning should the play First stand. Foul, illegal hands to the face, defense number 51. Half the distance to the goal by rule, automatic first down. Stanford, the sixth leap, least penalized team in the country. Called for that one. Ahmed in motion. And this is Miles Gaskin. Fighting his way down inside the two, maybe to the one. On the move is Browning, turns it upfield into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Jake Browning runs for the score, his fourth of the season. And on the opening drive, the Huskies maneuver down the field and find the end zone. Well, that's one way to make sure you don't throw an interception when you're inside the five. This turn. Kamari Pleasant into a lead blocker and let Jake Browning use his mobility. Eight plays, 73 yards. Cameron Scarlett on the return for Stanford. And Scarlett finds his seam. Gets out to the 30-yard line. And it's Maddox on the give. And Maddox fighting his way and picks up about 10 yards. A nice first down run. And the pitch, Bryce Love dancing in the backfield. And it gets about a yard of the play as racing him down was Ryan Bowman along with Tevis Bartlett. On third down, pressure coming. Costello off his back foot, gets it to Arcega Whiteside, but he can't hang on. Bailey, much better punt this time. And calling for a fair catch is Fuller. And Washington with the football. 7-0 UW.
There is Gaskin on the first drive. Now keep in mind, Washington moved down the field their first drive last week in Berkeley. Had a terrific opening drive resulting in a touchdown, but that was the only touchdown they had all day. As Gaskin, the carry on first down, gets five. And the 12-10 loss at Cal last week, the Huskies managed only 250 yards of total offense. Kamari Pleasant trying to bounce it to the outside. Gets spun around and brought down shy of the first down. First hit from Jordan Fox. Browning going out in motion. The Wildcat look. And running for a first down is Gaskin. Browning for the 36, broken up. Good break on the ball by Elijah Holder. And the draw with Kamari Pleasant. All down by Fox. Bring up third down for Washington. Browning to the outside, Ahmed. And Savon Ahmed into Stanford territory and run out of bounds. Alameen Murphy forced him out. But the Huskies are in Stanford territory after a 15-yard gain. You've got more weapons at your disposal. It's easier to deploy them in the way that you prefer. You don't have to ask Savon Ahmed to be Miles Gaskin when he doesn't really have the experience in the offense. Here is Ahmed on the carry. Tackled by Holder as Ahmed gets inside the 40-yard line. On second down, Browning for the outside, coming back for it. And turning it upfield is Bocelli. Another Washington first down. Play action for Browning. Aaron Fuller goes to the ground and makes the catch. Savon Ahmed, there's a penalty marker thrown on the play as Ahmed takes it to the end zone. If it stands, touchdown Washington. 22 yards in the run, but it's in the area of holding, and a Stanford player is down. Like it may have been another chop, chop block towards the interior. Personal foul, chop block, offense, 15 yard penalty, replay first down. Batted down. Pressure in the face of Browning and Dylan Jackson getting the pressure on the Washington quarterback. Now going in motion is Terrell Bynum. Browning all day to throw. Now will run. Browning goes down well shy of a first down as closing in for Stanford was Malik Antoine. And it's fourth down for the Huskies. Yes, looks like Washington is going to go. The field goal unit staying on the sideline, but it's a long way to go with this fourth down. Fourth and 11, just about 12 for Washington. Kamari Pleasant is the running back. Browning fires over the middle, sliding with the catch. Aaron Fuller, first down Washington. 16 yards on fourth and 11. The pocket is so clean and comfortable for Jake Browning. He's able to throw it in rhythm right through the heart of the Stanford secondary because there's not a pass rusher anywhere near him. Look at that frame. There are no white jerseys anywhere near Jake Browning. At the 13. Two tight ends with Sean McGrew, the running back. And McGrew wrapped up after a short gain by Bobby Okariki. Play action with Gaskin on the rollout. Browning. Pumps, throws, underneath, Drew Sample. Did he get in? He did. Touchdown, Washington. Second touchdown catch for Sample on the season. Fourth career for the senior for Bellevue. Bush Hamden, Jake Browning, they both noted how Drew Sample has been a calming influence, especially on game day. That's about as cool and calm as you're going to see Jake Browning extending the play throwing it back across his body to sample 14 plays 80 yards the 11 yard touchdown pass from Browning to sample second quarter about to begin we've got a little bit of rain and wind but the story is Jake Browning in the first quarter he had 
we watched him before this game, two hours before this game, sitting in the stadium that was empty, thinking about the moments that he'd have. And of course, his first quarter, he's come out and run a touchdown and thrown for one. And his reception here on the sideline has been fantastic as we now have a turnover. Byron Murphy, the interception for Washington as Costello throws the pick. Fourth career interception for Murphy, first this year. The feisty nature of how he makes this play is just phenomenal because Trent Irwin has strong hands and he actually got to the football first. Byron Murphy ran up on him and just snatched it away like some kind of neighborhood bully. Watson work runs the route for Irwin, sees the ball, converts on it, and then just takes it away. Two tight ends in the game. As Browning, the give on the fly sweep, and Savon Ahmed strung out, well read, and defended by Stanford. Gabe Reed. Browning under pressure. Browning goes down Casey Tuhill for Stanford with a sack. Third and 13 for the Huskies. Browning, and it's complete to Aaron Fuller. Dancing along the sideline, gets close to a first down, dragging Kendall Williamson with him. Gaskin lined up in the Wildcat. Miles Gaskin keeps, has a lane. Gaskin inside the 10, first and goal. Gabe Reed with a touchdown saving tackle for the Cardinal. Washington is sticking and staying on their blocks right now. Kate Otten did a great job setting the edge. Miles Gaskin, we know how well he can burst around the corner after showing that initial patience, finding the hole, getting fast through it. First and goal at the six. Two tight ends in the game. Gaskin, the running back. Play action, Browning. For Aaron Fuller, can't make the over-the-shoulder catch in the corner. Ahmed in motion. Miles Gaskin straight ahead. Gaskin into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Career touchdown number 51 for Miles Gaskin. And Washington has extended the lead. That's Baini Valu. Right there at the right guard position, or actually they went unbalanced. So he's essentially a right tackle, stays on the block, driving the defender five yards into the backfield. That gave the alley necessary for Miles Gaskin. Peyton Henry the kickoff. Cameron Scarlett on the return. Costello and slipping out. The catch made by Connor Weddington. Second and four. Costello, good protection. And it's caught. Trenton Irwin the catch and the first, first down for the Cardinal. And a late penalty flag comes in. After the pass was completed during the run, personal foul targeting. Defense number 41. That play is under further review. It was confirmed that number 14 committed targeting with the crown of his helmet. Now 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Number 14 is disqualified for the remainder of the game. He's a physical tackler as his his battery mate Taylor Rapp in the safety position. In Husky territory, Costello flipping at the last second in the direction of Caden Smith. Brandon McKinney has replaced McIntosh in the Washington secondary as Smith the catch. Third and five for the Cardinal. Costello to Bryce Love, first down. Stanford Wellington the tackle but a huge third down completion to keep this drive going for Stanford and Costello. At the UW 36. Costello down the sideline for J.J. Arcega Whiteside. There's a flag down. Coverage from Keith Taylor. Pass interference, defense number 27. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Arcega Whiteside at the top of your screen. Costello on first down, pumps under pressure, and goes down. Josiah Bronson the sack for the Huskies, his first of the year. Loss of nine. Back at the 30. Costello dumps it off to Bryce Love. And a short gain, closing in quickly for Washington was Byron Murphy. Pressure coming. Costello. Tipped at the line, incomplete. Was it intercepted? Greg Gaines, did he catch it? He did. 
Deflected by Ben Burke, Irvin, and Greg Gaines. The nose tackle with the interception. The irresistible force that is Ben Burke Kirvin combines with the immovable object that is Greg Gaines. This former running back in high school, all 325 pounds of him, stretches all the way out, cradles the ball, snatching the drive away from the Stanford Cardinal. Second pick tonight for Costello. And was a solid drive for Stanford, ends with a turnover. Kamari Pleasant on the handoff. Not much running room. Casey Tuhill closes in. It's what a big moment for that big guy, big 99, Greg Gaines. You know, that wasn't supposed to be his name when he was born. Uh, he was supposed to be Colt, C O L T Colt, but his parents had this agreement that dad would name the boys and mom would name the girls. But when their second child was a second son, somehow mom won the battle, and that's why his name is Greg. Well, all is not lost because in late March, Greg and his wife Cheyenne, there they are, are expecting their first child. And guess what? It's going to be a boy, and his name is going to be Colt. So Greg is in love with that name, and he's finally going to get his moment. And guess what the first toy will be in that big for the little guy, Colt? How about that football on the interception? <laughs> Miles Gaskin, the ball carrier. And a short game before he gets driven backward. Paulson Adebo in there for Stanford. So dad eventually won. He did get the name Colt in the family. Or it's coming. That would be a nice little touch, Lewis, if they had the, the football from Greg's interception. Yes. His second to last home game here. If he was able to get that to his son, that'd be nice. They'll probably need to sanitize it first, though, right? It's not a bad <laughs> idea. You got a little bit of home, Anthony. You know what I'm talking about. Very true. <laughs> Browning. Throwing. Looking for the deep ball over the head of Aaron Fuller incomplete. We know KJ Costello. He's led some monumental comebacks already this year. High snap. Winford gets it away. And a short line drive as Irwin coming up makes the catch and the move spinning. And the Huskies get down there and wrap him up near the 25 yard line. On first down, Costello drops it off to Cameron Scarlett for a short pickup. On second down, Costello, and it's complete to Caden Smith. J.J. Arcega, Whiteside, out to the top of your screen on third down. Costello, pressure coming, and the catch is made, and a first down for the Cardinal. It's Irwin who takes a big hit, but hangs on and moves the sticks for Stanford. At the 42. It's Bryce Love the carry and tackled for a loss. Runs into Levi Onzerike. Second and 12. Costello complete. Shy of a first down. Arcega Whiteside. And for JJ Arcega Whiteside, he is down. That is the last thing David Shaw needs to see. Third and short for midfield. Cameron Scarlett, the running back. And it's. Osiris St. Brown with his first catch tonight. Stanford needs a touchdown on this drive. Broken up as Murphy getting his hands in there, knocking it away from Trenton Irwin. Cameron Scarlett looking for a hole. And he powers inside the 40 down to the 37, a gain of four. Third and six. Costello. For St. Brown, the deep ball, and it's incomplete. Good coverage from Keith Taylor. And it's broken up incomplete for Colby Parkinson. Elijah Molden knocks that away in a turnover on downs. Parkinson certainly felt like Molden got there early. Looked to me in live action like he may have as well. Kick off as we start the third quarter with Jake Bailey. 
And another deep kick from Bailey as Stanford's only had two returned against them all season. It'll come out to the 25 for the Huskies as we check in on the field with Lewis Johnson. Well, Roxy, a uh, quick chat with David Shaw, and he said it's not complicated. He said on defense, we've got to find a way to slow down Washington's run game. On offense, they need to figure a way to fight through some of the difficult coverage looks they're getting and make some plays. Now, most importantly, Bryce Love, we saw him come into the game dealing with some ankle injuries, limping in the second half, in the second quarter, told that he's going to try and loosen it up and Bryce Love will try to go. As for J.J. Arcega, Whiteside, who left the game on a cart, he has a lower extremity injury and he is out for the game. So J.J. Arcega Whiteside lost. That's a big one for them as the rain continues to fall and the wind picks up here. Yeah, Lewis, the conditions deteriorating as the night progresses. Miles Gaskin the carry. On the rollout, Browning under pressure and he just throws it away. As coming at Jake Browning was Jordan Fox, who's had a strong game defensively for Stanford tonight. Pressure coming. Browning off his back foot. Barton applying the pressure. And Sean Barton right in the face of Jake Browning. And it's a three and out for the Stanford defense to start the second half. Barton ends up looping around late. He's going to come all the way across the face of the center, providing the pressure. So you show your presence initially in one B gap, and then it has the speed to come all the way across as he looped around. So both Okariki and Barton got home. Just the second punt for Joel Whitford tonight. Trenton Irwin, Stanford return man at the Cardinal 35. As Whitford with the punt, Irwin has trouble with it as Ben Burkirvin right on top of him. And a penalty marker is in, probably kick catch interference against Burkirvin in Washington. There is no foul on the play for kick catch interference on number 25. He was blocked into the receiver. That's a first down. Bryce Love bottled up in the backfield and surging through was Jalen Johnson for Washington. KJ Costello to a sliding Cameron Scarlett for the catch out across the 40. On third down, pressure coming over the middle and it's complete. Caden Smith, the catch for Stanford. And Smith fighting forward down to the Washington 31. Dragging Elijah Molden with him. KJ Costello to the outside. There is Parkinson with the grab and shoved out by Elijah Molden. Play clock rolling down. Toward the outside, Irwin coming back, makes the catch and takes a physical hit from Byron Murphy, but hangs on and a Stanford first down. Yeah, that's a physical grab because of the way that KJ Costello led him back towards the inside. It would have been better off kind of over the outside shoulders so he could roll towards the stripe. But there the football brought Trenton Irwin back in towards the tackler. The secondary across the board, not just the safeties, but the corners as well. They come up and tackle with physicality. In the red zone at the Huskies 17. Love picks up a couple. And they give it to Love. And Love picks up a couple before he is dropped by Bartlett. Costello for the end zone, and it's caught! Touchdown, Stanford! Caden Smith the grab for the Cardinal. Second straight week with a touchdown for Smith. This is beyond threading the needle. There were three different defensive backs for the Dogs in position. K.J. Costello threw it exactly, precisely, where he had to put the football where only Caden Smith had a shot at it. The Cardinal and the right arm of K.J. Costello refusing to go quietly into this Seattle night. Costello hitting his tight end in Shangri-La. Jake Browning goes to work at the Washington 25. And first down, the play action. Browning throwing for Ty Jones, and it's incomplete. Well short. Second and ten. Miles Gaskin the carry. 
Gets to the edge. Turns it upfield. Miles Gaskin cuts it back. Brought down in Stanford territory. Malik Antoine finally with the stop as Gaskin rips off a big run. Miles Gaskin going over 100 yards. He's got 103 now heading into this carry. And he stretches it to the outside and he's hauled down by Malik Antoine. Trying to become just the 10th running back in college football history to run for a thousand or more in each of his four years. Penalty flag on the play is Gaskin straight ahead. Illegal formation. More than four in the backfield on the offense. Five yard penalty. Replay second down. That will cost you dub five. Browning shovels it out. And Savon Ahmed dancing inside the 25. Creative play by Browning getting it to Savon Ahmed. He took a chance. He initially evades the defense in the backfield. He sees Ahmed out there, flips it at the last moment just because he, before he takes a big hit. And Ahmed showing those open field skills. Not sure if this was a pass or a run, depending on the trajectory of the football, but it still goes for 17 yards and a first down for the Huskies. But now Clemson has won 13 in a row at home, and the Huskies trying to match it. Bama has won 23 straight home games. Here is Savon Ahmed, and he's wrapped up by Michael Williams. Screen set up, and it's Bocelli for Washington, picking his way down to the 10. First and goal, Huskies. Sean McGrew in at running back. And it's McGrew. Short pickup, gets a couple. On second down, it's Gaskin. Gets down to the five yard line. Browning. Steps up and goes down. Lane quickly closing, and for Stanford, it's Dylan Jackson. Peyton Henry, 12 for 16. On the season, the redshirt freshman from Danville, the Bay Area, as the lefty sends it through and a 24-7 lead for Washington inside four and a half to go, third quarter. Short kick. And Stanford on the return out across the 30-yard line is Scooter Harrington taking the kickoff. On first down, the give is to Love. And Bryce Love picks his way out for a gain of five. Play action for Costello. Gains in his face, and Scarlett makes the catch. Sliding grab inside Washington territory. Costello a deep drop, and he just throws it at the feet of Love. Holding defense number nine. That's a 10-yard penalty for the previous spot, and will create a first down. From the Huskies' 38-yard line, K.J. Costello, and it's Caden Smith, another catch. The handoff, Bryce Love, up the middle, and Love has another Stanford first down inside the 20. Finally, Taylor Rapp with a stop for Washington. Here is Love bouncing it to the outside. Tries to turn the corner. He's hauled down from behind. There's a flag on Taylor Rapp. It looks like a horse collar against Rapp. Personal foul, horse collar tackle. Defense number seven. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Approaching two minutes to go in the third quarter. A lot of tight ends on the field. Again, it's Bryce Love. Bryce Love into the end zone. Touchdown, Stanford. The patience of Love, finally the hole opened up, and it gets into the end zone, and for Love, just his fourth touchdown this season. Well, all those bodies right there, the tight end position. You got one in the wing, two on the line of scrimmage. They stick and drive on defenders over and over again. The stutter step right there in the backfield. Bryce Love picks him up, puts him down, leaving laundry in the backfield. 28th career rushing touchdown for Love. Here's the handoff. Miles Gaskin reverses field. 
And he swarmed down Dalen Wade Perry, the first man there for Stanford after Gaskin picks up about almost four yards. In motion, Savan Ahmed. And it's Miles Gaskin breaks the initial tackle, and it's Okariki who brings him down after a gain of one. Here's Browning. Steps up. Browning stays alive somehow and launches it downfield incomplete. Out of bounds with a catch is Drew Sample. But the pressure coming from Stanford forcing Browning out of the pocket. Joel Whitford. And a short punt off the side of his foot. He shanked it. And Stanford has terrific field position inside Washington territory. And the handoff, Bryce Love. Ben Burkirvin and Byron Murphy shoot through and bring down Love for a loss. Second and 13 from midfield as we start the fourth. KJ Costello. And the give to Bryce Love, who's hit and drop for a loss of one. Brandon Wellington for Washington. Here comes the blitz. Costello, too high for Parkinson. The protection held up. They did a good job, Stanford, recognizing the blitz. They did. I love the intensity of KJ Costello. <laughs> it's not what you normally see from a Stanford quarterback. Just strutting around, shouting at everybody. Shouting at himself. And Bailey launches this one downfield, but he may got too much of it. We'll see where they say it went out of bounds, and they're going to say touchback. Holding, receiving team during the kick. That penalty will be half the distance from the touchback spot. First and ten on the ten-yard line. Miles Gaskin, the running back. And he gets the handoff, and he's rustled down by Michael Williams after a gain of four. And the give to Gaskin and up the corner. Terrific play by Elijah Holder for the Cardinal. Yeah, that was a blown assignment. Some, someone was very confused about who should be in position to make that block because it wasn't even a true mesh point where they were trying to read that edge defender and Holder who came from the boundary side. Here's Browning under pressure again, goes down. They'll spot it at the one. Andres Fox, the freshman. Forward progress was in the field of play, fourth down. With the sack, the freshman from Mobile, Alabama, who's played in only one game this season prior to tonight, comes up with an enormous play for the Stanford defense. And they wanted him in the lineup for this. The athleticism he shows to fire out of his stance and get through the upfield shoulder, that type of penetration immediately before Jake Browning could even set his back foot. I was at Stanford's practice on Tuesday this week, Anthony, and talking to David Shaw at practice, he said, you know what, Fox could be our best pass rusher, even though he has barely played it all this year. Here's Trenton Irwin on the return, and Irwin inside the 35 in tremendous field position for Stanford to start this drive. Down 10 inside 12 minutes to go. Here's Costello on first down. And he throws it for Colby Parkinson to catch. First and goal, Stanford. He's not open. Elijah Molden is in perfect position to defend Colby Parkinson. K. Jack Costello throws it back shoulder, and Parkinson extends that nearly six foot ten wingspan he has to make a grab outside his cage. At the eight yard line. Love the deep back with Reagan Williams, the fullback. Extra offensive lineman in as Nick Wilson goes in motion. Here's Love. And he's stoned as he gets to the seven-yard line by Jalen Johnson. Stanford just does get the playoff, and it's Love. Reversing field. Bryce Love inside the five, down to the three. Third and goal. Again, this is Love. And Love stacked up. 
Greg Gaines, the first hit from Brandon Wellington. And it's fourth and goal, and the field goal unit heading out. And again, it's not Jet Toner kicking tonight for Stanford. And Riccatelli. And he makes it a one-score game as he sends that one through. 24-17 Huskies, nine minutes to play. Huskies at the 25. Cade Otten in motion. Play action from Browning. Browning throwing a deep ball for Fuller, and it's broken up. Elijah Holder nearly had the interception. He had zone eyes on this one the entire way. He made a nice break on the ball. It was almost like he wanted to avoid running into his teammate Malik Antoine. So he couldn't quite get his body all the way in position where he wanted to. Would have been a difficult catch, but certainly one Elijah Holder has proven to be capable of. Second and ten. And Browning, the give to Miles Gaskin. And he fights forward in a good effort out across the 30. Gets nearly seven yards as Holder in there on the tackle for Stanford. Third and three for the Huskies. Three rushers for Stanford. Browning to Aaron Fuller. And he gets out to midfield. Okariki on the tackle for Stanford for the third down conversion for Washington. Gaskin. Trying to get to the edge. Turns the corner, runs out of bounds. Forced out by Paulson Adebo. Gain of four. Gaskin now 125 yards on the night. Play action, Browning. The pressure coming off the edge and going up the ladder. Ty Jones the catch for Washington. A 6'4 sophomore receiver showing off his athleticism. They're letting the guys go at it a bit in the secondary. Ty Jones, full extension up top. Sort of wards off Elijah Holder. Wasn't a real violent push. Had the hand snugging his hip on back. Just a little nudge. Here's Miles Gaskin to the outside. Gaskin forced out by Adebo. Hunter Bryant in motion. Another carry for Gaskin. Waiting for a hold, nothing there. And it's Gabe Reed who knocks him down on the play to force third down. Wildcat with Browning motioning out of the backfield and Gaskin hit and stood up and dropped. First man there was Sean Barton for Stanford. And settling for a field goal try, this will be a 38-yard kick for Peyton Henry, who made one of the first half. He is 13 for 17 on the year. And the lefty, Henry, sends it through. And it's a two-score game. With 5.09 remaining, Peyton Henry nails a huge field goal for Washington. As Scarlett on the return brought down the 20 yard line. Bryce Love at running back. And again, Stanford without JJ Arcega Whiteside. This is Love with the carry, and Love pops through the line. And Bryce Love gets out to midfield. Finally brought down on the play by Keith Taylor, but Bryce Love rips off a 24 yard run. And Scarlett goes in the lineup for him, the offensive line for the Cardinal. Not necessarily driving the Huskies back, but sticking on the blocks. And Bryce Love finding a running lane and then exploding. At the 48, actually a 28-yard gain for Love is Costello toward the sideline. Irwin makes a sliding catch. No, he did not hang on. Incomplete. Elijah Molden in coverage. We rarely see this from Trenton Irwin. He's had some of the most sure hands in the Pac-12 throughout his career. But again, you're seeing the way these defensive backs for Washington operate. They play the ball all the way through the blade of grass on the ground. 
So Stanford after a 4 0 start to the season in danger of losing four of five trailing here in the fourth quarter. Costello for Colby Parkinson who uses the six seven frame to go up over the defense and Molden for the catch. I mean there's not much more you can do if you're a defensive back especially when you have a teammate coming in position for help coverage. That is pure rise and grind. At the 34 of Washington. And the give to Cameron Scarlett. And he is brought down by Ben Burkirvin. Screen for Scarlett incomplete. Even if he caught it, wouldn't have gotten much for Stanford as Gaines and Potawahi were there for the Huskies. Three rushers moving up. Costello down the sideline for Irwin. Touchdown, Stanford. What a grab by Trenton Irwin. His first touchdown of the season. And Stanford with a quick strike. Irwin's such a mature route runner. So even though his progress was impeded by Murphy off the line of scrimmage, he stayed with the route. Costello couldn't step into the pass. He just flicked it out there with his wrist. And Trenton Irwin fighting off one of the best defensive backs in the country going up to get it. Colin Riccatelli for the extra point. Still 324 remaining. Stanford goes 80 yards in a minute 39. And Riccatelli missed the extra point. Riccatelli in for Jet Toner tonight as the kicker, and he misses an extra point. It's a four point game. And he takes the football for Browning. Heads up field, breaking a tackle. Gaskin and Sean Barton knocks the football. No, he didn't. Gaskin hung on to it. Stanford was pointing like they had recovered the football. The ball was out, but Washington got it back. Miles Gaskin, he's been in this game long enough to know. And there is Barton knocking the ball away, but luckily for the Huskies, they were there to recover. Again, this is Gaskin. And straight ahead, Gaskin. Gets nearly five on the carry. And it's Gaskin stood up by driven back by Sean Barton. Throw by him in motion. Browning under pressure steps up. Browning looking now will run and Browning gets close to the marker. He's a yard shy. Trenton Irwin the return man for the Cardinal as Whitford with a good punt and takes a sideways bounce and it's down inside the 20 by Ben Burkirvin. KJ Costello dumps it off to Love who then lost the football and nearly intercepted by Brandon Wellington on second down and he rifles it to Weddington and Weddington stretches out. He's just shy of the first down. Third and one. And they do give it to Bryce Love, who gets the first down. And he's wrapped up by Taylor Rapp, along with Ben Burkirvin. First down, Stanford. Bryce Love out of the backfield. And Love brought down Ben Burkirvin on the tackle after a gain of eight. Inside a minute now, pressure off the edge. Costello and sliding with the catch, Michael Wilson, the freshman. And a first down at the Huskies 49. Pump, Costello throws, coming back for it. The catch is made, Weddington first down, Stanford. Burkirvin on the tackle at the Washington 34. But Stanford's running guys in and out. And now Washington trying to get guys in and out. But Stanford didn't sub. And they spike it with 10 seconds to play. Costello throws, and it's incomplete. 
KJ Costello for the end zone. And it is intercepted. Taylor Rapp for Washington wins the game. Washington escapes. And Rapp with his second interception of the season seals it for the Huskies and denies David Sean Stanford after a great effort here in the second half.